Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Natalia here, Loft Craft Forever. I, and I just want to show you a little bit of progress that I'm making on this diamond painting by Hooken. And actually, well, here is the picture that it's gonna be. I just surprised myself by looking on this picture through the camera eye. And I see much more details actually than I'm looking at just on my canvas because when I look at my canvas right now, all I see blurry, colorful uh, beads. But then when I look, for example, there's a boat in here, right? On canvas, it looks like just a dark spot, but when I look on the canvas through the camera, I can see actually the boats start to coming out, which is lots of beads need to be placed yet, but I already see, I love the way sky looks in here. So just to show you a little bit close up for you, how much I have left. <clears throat> and I'm working um, for maybe like three days on and off. I don't work too many hours at once. But it's really fun to work because it's very colorful, colorful picture, and it's actually first picture by Hukan that I work with round beads. Um, I will um, actually this canvas is my very first canvas that I order from Hukan and that that I discovered for myself this company and I will link for you my unboxing video. I purchased that time six, I think, or five, six diamond paintings. And this is one of them and I just didn't have time to kind of work on it because I got uh, distracted with different reviews <clears throat> and I kind of, you know, finally decided to get something colorful. But uh, I, I done before two of diamond paintings by Hooken in square beads and I did have a review of full um, full review of finished project so if some of you are interested to see uh, how it looks and what kind of maybe uh, problems or you know some bad stuff some good stuff but after all I did love it and I still think they are a great company which lots of you will disagree with me probably because I see some comments that not everybody happy but guys so far I'm happy and I cannot say nothing but really um, the thing is uh, what I uh, wanna point it out um, the canvas uh, some of you say that canvas is change uh, this canvas it's pretty thick well the canvas that I've received, I bought it a few months, uh, maybe months ago or so, the one that with the lilas or how you call those flowers, that canvas was really, and I linked that video as well, unboxing, um, by who can, but there's different store, so I don't know if that's make a difference or not, but the other canvas with lila flowers, uh, bouquet, in a way, it's beautiful one, much thinner canvas than this one and I agree the canvas is different but here is what I'm gonna say my opinion and you guys totally can disagree with me but who cares what kind of canvas you have under your beads if you're planning to drill and frame your diamond painting who will see your canvas under those beads inside the frames? So there's really nothing to complain in my opinion about the canvas thickness or, or you know, how it's thick or not thick because you're not gonna see it obviously. You're gonna frame it and it's done. So why even waste the energy and being angry on something that is absolutely necessary in my opinion? But that's your opinion and this is my opinion. So you know this is absolutely something for me that i wouldn't even pay attention the most important thing it's about the glue on your canvas that's the most important thing if your bead sticks or not uh, the problem with the beads if you have enough or not and guys i'm just gonna a little bit 
cover up in here. I, I do keep the strips for the purpose to reuse them sometime or just to cover up so when I work in and walk away a little bit I cover. So my furry friends, golden retriever and a fluffy cat don't get hair on it. So now I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm working here. So this side of the beads, well, the one thing, the other thing I like about this company that they always send you already beads pre-mark and printed with all those numbers. So this side, it's all the colors I already finished. And this one, the colors that I still have left to do. And they are beautiful, beautiful colors. So look at this, guys. This is all already done. Look how much beads left. Come on. You have to give a credit to this company for so many beads left. I don't know. I never run out. This is my uh, third canvas so far. I did a full drills in squares, two diamond paintings. This one is round drills. And look at this. This is huge amount of drills that left. And that's what I love about this company. I don't know. Kudos to who can for that. They always give you extra, lots of extra. Uh, yeah, I agree. Some beads has a holes. Some beads got a little bit more sticky than the other one. And I don't know if I would uh, find right now, but uh, so, some drills they have like a sticky together. But when I rub them like this in my palm of my hand and put back on a tray, they all separate, almost all of them. So that's good. And yeah, so just, I just have a little bit more left. So now I want to point it out some of you, uh, well, lots of you using, and that's kind of important, guys. Um, I have here jar with the washi tape, which I have, let me put this a little bit, different kind. So I have two kinds in here. Uh, one of them, and guys, right now I'm working, uh, taking my video by my computer, by the window from this side. So I don't know if you receiving lots of light or not. I have a little bit of my uh, uh, night table um, night light for the desk. So anyway, what I want to say, um, there's a two different types of washi tape. You see this, this one, and I'm going to show you like a glittery, but it's not, it's not the glitter that coming out. It's just a, like a shiny tape. This one. Um, and I will give you an example Hold on, let me just turn this canvas a little bit this way. Okay. So here is the tape that is kind of like a white. And you see how it's kind of, it's sticking, but it's coming out. It's like, it's so easy. It's barely sticky, you would say. But you have to remember that you have here a strip of glue that this tape will stick good. Now, when you have this one, this one like a holographic, and it's much thicker. And as you can see, it's much more tacky. So it's okay on canvas in here. But now I'm going to show you why you need to pick proper color for your diamond paint and if you do this washi tape and you have this two kind of washi tape. So for for my example I'm gonna use this canvas and as you can see <clears throat> I put this holographic uh, which one was a color this color they are beautiful those beautiful colors green holographic like a AB color brown kind of like a pink uh, and I see puppy hair um, sorry about that <laughs> like a pink purplish and green bluish or blue I don't know so anyway I picked this color for my diamond painting and as you can see I have strip of the other ones on this side and why because as okay let me move a little bit camera on this side from the window okay 
there's a difference a chart every company have and this chart is so big that it have a numbers actually cover all the way up there and this tape easy to peel if you want to follow by the numbers and in my tray my little girl organized me um, by the number she made me in this little plastic container from dollar store from one to how many colors in here let's see this is 35 colors 40 by 30 centimeters um, <clears throat> diamond painting so she put me like lowest to highest number and that's how easy for me to find certain number that I need but if I need to look the number which color is this I just kind of lift it so I can see because if I would put this uh, tape on this side I wouldn't be able to peel because this one is much stickier so after I done the diamond painting then I will peel this strip and add this one around my diamond painting to continue same color and why I pick exactly and this is why very kind of important if your frame for example <clears throat> a little bit <clears throat> sorry guys still have a funky voice <clears throat> if you have your frame a little bit bigger and you will see the plain canvas um, you can frame it together with this tape kind of visible in your frame line <clears throat> and sorry if you hear my puppy walking around with his claws on the floor <clears throat> distracting me okay so why important to pick right color of the washi tape to begin with because um, on this strip of the canvas I have um, actually I think on the end wider strip of glue than in here in here it's just like a little tiny strip of glue sticking out behind the symbols in here more so if I would put different color and decide to change later to be honestly I would probably ripped the glue together and I'm gonna try to show you guys if I can pick okay I'm gonna get a little tiny do you see how it's okay do you see the how it's pulling the glue and it's a danger they will pull actually your glue from out of your beads as this one actually let's see no this one is easy coming out the glue kind of you can see the little strip it stays but this one I try and it just like well let me try from the other side just to make sure Peeling, you see how it's pulling the glue tighter. So, in some in some points, I think I was trying on that corner somewhere when I just placed this washi. It was so hard sticking to the glue, and on this side I have like a white white almost to the end of this uh, washi tape strip of glue, and just peeling together with glue. So this tape is really strong, and this one a little bit less sticky on the glue itself so pick the right color of your washi tape they would be suitable to kind of connect with your picture you see how I have here like a beautiful um, I don't know sunset sunrise maybe sunset or something like a uh, ocean and all this beautiful color so my holographic tape in the blue color kind of like a blend in with all those sparkles and colors so even if this tape will sticking out from my frame after I frame it it would be okay but if I would put something like a you know, bright pink or whatever even silver okay it's neutral but if you want to pick you pick right color to begin with so then later on you don't have to try to pull it and it will kind of pull glue together with your washi tape uh, same goes to um, 
one time I did unboxing on my um, just a crafted stuff I bought from dollar store and I show you guys the big roll of white tape it's like a for paintings or whatever um, at that tape I try a little bit and it just uh, stuck like a son of a gun I, I I that's it I did not use it I barely you know pull out of my canvas it was stuck so hard and I just kind of like a uh, tested out first little tiny corner it wouldn't it wouldn't come out so I was like oh my god good thing I didn't place it all the way around my canvas so I do not recommend those the the one the green tape for the painters that one actually coming out easy because I did use before I think and it's coming out easy but it's I just wanted to point it out about this beautiful uh, washi tape if you look in it and as you can see the dollar store have them uh, in different kind and colors and also as well here look see how different it is um, this one I have kind um, the one that is easy to peel and some of you already saw my diamond painting this with this washi tape this one is beautiful shimmery kind of like a almost like a diamond so it's good with gold diamond paint and something there are lots of uh, gold colors this one just a stripey and this one's oh now you can focus and this one also if you have a wider here's the difference on a size in a link of how wide they are you see how much different it's almost almost in half if you can see you see how much different so yeah there's some places you have a more wider uh, diamond paint and glue sticking out than others so for little ones I'm just using a little one thin one but uh, yeah just pay attention um, what kind of color you want to pick so you don't pull out too much later unless if you plan and and some of you do sticking this on a um, um, canvas so you just you know like you cut it out all the way to the beads line your canvas by sticking it um, to the canvas frame so that would be okay if you cut it out but I mean I like to keep diamond paintings behind a glue and there's a lots of I think I did already mention um, in the group and used to on my diamond painting um, on YouTube channel that um, lots of you curious like what to do after you're done uh, me personally I do not seal with anything I leave it original I just want to make sure the canvas is perfectly all those diamond drills sticking flat to my surface and then I roll them with my roller I do have a tutorial about it look it out if you didn't see yet if you're new to my channel then please subscribe and look around I have lots of videos lots of with some good tips you know and tricks how to do or some how to fix the stuff so yeah that's the some little points that I wanted to make so I think today today or tomorrow I think I will finish this diamond paint and there is not many colors left but uh, the most beautiful color one I like to work like with pinks and this reds it's beautiful colors it's gonna be in here from this um, here I'll show you the original picture those colors is just gorgeous and that's why I picked that time most of them picture like all those with lots and lots of colors and I think so far this looks so beautiful and to be honest um, like I cannot see it when I see on my right now on a table uh, it looks like uh, all the you know just a bunch of colors but not much all I see a little bit like a lighter circle in here but when I look through the camera oh my god it's so pretty already I am excited to see it's finished and the, the drills is really shiny look at that look how beautiful okay now you can see 
in here okay pay attention on this spot and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit close to you you see the line that's kind of like a wrinkle on a canvas and make it like a little ridgy how would you say yeah so glue kind of wrinkle up up there so I don't know I put the same in here I did I did place the same thing kind of continue line but after I place the beads I don't really see it so I don't think when painting is finished and this piece gonna be finished as well I think it will even up and I hope the drill is not gonna come out because I don't see a bubbles um, okay let me show you the back of the canvas you see this it looks like a wrinkles right it's like a bubbles but let me see on this side it's not it's not is it um let's see something guys I'm just gonna like right now try and see what's gonna happen if I have my exacto knife and try to actually not the exacto knife hold on guys I have here my manicure kit and I always have a needle in it I'm just gonna a little bit poke holes okay I can see actually let me zoom camera if you can see what I'm doing okay so okay you can see that I can actually lift it a little bit of this glue so it is kind of like a air pocket so if I poke with needle and maybe we're gonna fix it right now together guys and I'm just gonna press it and never mind my manicure because I clean up and uh, experimenting this is my homemade nail polish color and this one is not so I'm just experimenting so I will do my nails later but now it's I just, I just cleaned them actually okay let's see if we can poke a little hole to get the air out and then try to stick see if it's gonna work yeah it's working okay so that's what I guess I need to do just make sure to keep your hands on the canvas when you're doing this okay now we're gonna put a little bit hole in here to be honest I didn't see those pockets badly like this till I just kind of flip my canvas upside down mm -hmm. but it's definitely okay are we on the camera okay here is the another line go right in here so we're gonna poke a little bit holes in here and I wouldn't be suggesting do suggest to do with exact knife exact knife whatever just accidentally not to cut canvas brother just you know poke the hole in a bubble with the needle and just press it hard yeah it's all fixed now I am gonna go even in here I can feel it under beads my beads lifting up so I'm gonna poke the hole and repress the beads so what I'm gonna do let me zoom out a little bit 